this is just a game changer. I have them right here. I, by the way, what do you were using? Get it. Now, in terms of lashes, wow, this is a new formula. I couldn't wait any longer to film this video. And I say that because it seems like it has passed a long time, but what happened is May was a really busy month for me, mostly the end tail of May, the beginning of June too. So I feel like I have been falling a little bit behind on YouTube, but that's okay because May was a fabulous month full of different activities with family. My youngest daughter did her first communion, which it was wonderful. Earlier in June, my oldest daughter, she graduated too. So, I mean, like, it has been just such a fabulous last few weeks that, yeah. Anyhow, friends, I couldn't wait anymore to actually show you the products that I have been enjoying so much during the month of May. And I'm going to keep, you know, I'm just going to keep it to the month of May. But, yeah, my friends, it has been just fabulous. So, let's start with the first thing that... This is something that if you like your hair straight and you have been using for years a regular hair straightener, you don't need to do that anymore. Dyson Air Straight, it is the way to go because this straights your hair from damp, completely damp hair to fully straight as you see it right now in no time. It's so easy with just air, it's not tying your hair, it's not pulling your hair. I don't have hair stain. And extensions sorry <laughs> i don't have hair extensions this is my natural very 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 long hair and i don't feel like it's ever tagging it's ever pulling yes you're gonna feel not you're not gonna even feel the heat if you are drying your hair from completely just freshly washed there's just gonna see a lot of steam going on on your room but that's that's all that's all and then you can actually change the temperature, you have a cool shot, you can actually style your hair when it's dry too, if you don't want to do it from when it's wet. It is a fantastic product, so much so that my oldest daughter, she was using for years the Dyson Air Wrap to dry your hair, hair and then the Dyson Coral to straighten it. And now she just uses these, it cuts out the time by half the time, and her hair looks exactly the same. She absolutely loves it. And I'm so happy about it too, because I know in the long run, this is gonna really help to cut down the amount of time that she's exposing her hair to, you know, the drying tools that, I mean, in the long run, she does it every single day, which I'm trying for her to like space it out. Like to me, for example, I do it like twice a week or three times a week at the most. Like this is my second day hair and it's still straight and my hair feels manageable. This is just a game changer. I have already a couple people that I have turned this into, like already even my oldest sister, she's like, I want it. And she went ahead and purchased it right away because this is just so good. And everybody that have bought this air straight from Dyson, they tell me the same thing. This is a game changer, it's incredible. And I'm, I have to tell you, if you have been thinking about it and it's time for you to buy a hair straightener and but you wanna cut down the damage on your hair, no brainer, just go for these. Talking about hair, the oil that I have been loving so much is this one by K18. So I bought this one during the Sephora sale and I had been trying it and I really love that it doesn't leave my hair like greasy at all. It gives a beautiful shine to my hair. It's not, it's not heavy. So it doesn't, you know, give me a lot. It doesn't weigh down my hair, in other words. It smells so good. I mean, like it has a very faint scent, but also it has the K18 chemistry. All those hair bonds, they are going to be repairing while I'm using these oil to leave my hair manageable and I mentioned it I think on my April favorites that I think that it also helps me for my hairstyle to last longer than usual and I think it has to do a lot with this too so I love K18 that hair mask and this right here it is a win, a plus. Okay my friends now let's go into fragrances. The fragrance that I had been so in love is one that you know actually 
I never bought before, but it was through a friend. So actually we were working at a wedding. I was doing the catering inside. She is the venue manager. And anyhow, we were, you know, like running back and forth. And all of a sudden I see her coming and I say, hey, hi. And I give her a hug and I smell. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. At that moment, because there were other vendors around, you know, people just working, I wouldn't, you know, stop to her and say, hey, what are you using? But believe me that the next day immediately, I'm like, thank you for the warm welcome to the venue, blah, blah, blah. By the way, what do you are using? What fragrance you're using? Because it's amazing. And she told me is the Jo Malone Orange Blossom. And I went ahead and purchased it right away. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, this is just so beautiful. Mm, yeah, it's orange blossom. If, I feel like it has a little bit of tuberose, but also it has some citrus notes in it that I can pick up. I honestly, when I hug her, I felt like, well, to begin with, the venue, it's a villa. <laughs> So it is Sandstone Villa, if you don't know. I mean, like it has appeared in so many Vogue magazine and whatnot. But anyhow, it feels like you're at a villa in Italy under like citrus trees, orange trees, although this is orange blossom. And then, you know, maybe some jasmine bushes or just blossoms around. It's just so beautiful. So this is a perfect fragrance for a spring, summertime, and every day. So just spray with abundance, and it's just wonderful. And I'm like, I'm buying it right away. Talking about fragrances, I try a new fragrance from Killian. It's Blue Moon Ginger Dash. And this is a great fragrance. Oh, it's a really beautiful fragrance. It's lemony, it has a little bit of vodka, it has that ginger in it. I think it has a mask. It is very, very aquatic. Um, I know Killian inspired himself with the Blue Lagoon cocktail, which this is part of the um, kind of like cocktail and in the rocks kind of fragrance. And it is like such. It's very refreshing, very, very amazing fragrance, and completely unisex. If you like very citrus fragrance, you're gonna love this fragrance. This has been also a wonderful fragrance. Definitely, if you are by the pool, by the beach, this is one that you must have. And I think, I'm pretty sure this is limited edition. The bottle is so beautiful, incredible. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's so fantastic, and I love the freshness of it talking about fresh fragrances. So, um, you know that I had been on a kick with House of Siage um, fragrances and also citrusy, very fresh kind of fragrances for the season. So I went ahead and pulled out my Whispers of Time and this is another freshie. If you want something really ultra fresh, non-heavy for summertime, for those very hot summer months, you're gonna love this fragrance. Mm. Yeah, it has that beautiful bergamot. It's that very fresh summer fragrance that is just it's just extra fresh, a little bit airy, not much of like an aquatic fragrance. To me, Killian, the one from Killian Blue Moon, it's a little bit more aquatic side. This one is actually does have a little bit of an earthy note to it because it has obviously the bergamot but also orange blossom. It does have ginger too. It's gorgeous. So I had been enjoying this one so much so that on one of my trips that you will be seeing a vlog very soon or perhaps when you're watching this video, you're already watching, <laughs> have watched that vlog. But anyhow, I wanted to get a fragrance just for traveling. And I do have my Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, which is my fragrance for the summertime. It's kind of like my signature scent, right? But I was like, you know, I'm enjoying so much these whispers of time and immediately it recalls me because it actually smells a lot like Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. So I went ahead and bought this travel size from, oh my gosh, I'm going to be just smelling so good today, which is great. Oh, this is fantastic too. There are some differences between Neroli Portofino and Whispers of Time. Whispers of Time, I think it's just a little bit more citrus while Neroli Portofino has a little bit more of like citrusy, but with a little bit of a musky kind of note to it, a little bit woody perhaps. 
and the main difference is actually on the dry down. On the dry down, the whispers of time smells not sweet, but it has a little bit of a sweetness to it. Something very not gourmand at all and whatsoever, but just a sweet something. A little like I no, it's not like sour patch. It's kind of like a some sort of sweetness to it that is very intriguing. While Neroli Portofino, it's lemony, woodsy, bergamot. It's just so good. It is fantastic. And these fragrances for summertime, again, poolside, beachside, these are fantastic, fabulous. So enjoying these fragrances so much. Heavy, heavy fragrances for summertime, for sure. Okay, friends. And now in terms of my face, honestly, I have try my best lately to just be super soft with my makeup. I don't want something that is too much, too loud or nothing like that. And sometimes when I don't want to even wear makeup and I just want to have a beautiful glow to my skin, I go for this Chantecai Rose Face Tint. It's not a tint at all, but it gives the most gorgeous glow to the skin. I mean, like, I think this thing, I don't know if it's viral in TikTok or not, because honestly, I'm in TikTok. I do have a TikTok, so come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. Um, obviously, make sure you're subscribed to my channel with that post notification bell on. But I don't know if this has gone viral or not, but I feel like it needs to go viral because it's such a gorgeous primer or just wear along kind of not even makeup because it's not really a face tint but it just gives you a very subtle glow with no shimmer no glitter extra hydration it has kind of like a jelly like formula i don't know it just looks not as slimy but it's kind of like jelly and it's just so wonderful and so moisturizing lotion like but it gives this film that is not a film of glow to the skin and I love to wear it under makeup or all solo and then for my large pores I had been wearing oh my gosh hold on <laughs> it just rolled to the other side my tone for um this is the primer that I use for my enlarged pores or when I want to have makeup all day long and I don't want anything to move I use this primer because the tone for primer is just gonna lock everything in and then aside to that I in terms of like actual foundation there has been two foundations the one that I use like every single day is my Chanel water fresh tint from the Levage collection this has launched so many years ago now they have it in a travel size which i think is fantastic you can use it in many different shades but this particular product has been a love of mine for so many years and it is still is it's a very unique product it has suspended pigments that it just breaks you can actually use a brush or your fingers you don't need a lot and it just creates and again another veil on your skin that your skin looks just perfected and non heavy and then for the days that I really really want just a little bit more of um, perfected kind of look like if, for example if I'm gonna be a guest at a wedding or you know in certain events that I'm gonna be morning all the way through the evening and I want my makeup to look just perfect with a medium coverage that lasts and that I do have dry skin if you're new here to my channel by the way I feel me natural light anyhow um, most of the products that I'm talking today I'm using them on my face it well anyhow talking about that foundation is the one by Hourglass the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation it does have a soft glow effect that is just so beautiful and for me to, to have dry skin and to love it so much it's something that it's a perfect foundation like I said for special occasions you can wear it every day if you want to it's non-heavy it's non-drying and it's long -lasting lasting and it's just Jeff's kiss so 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 beautiful I I particularly love it so much hey you know what before I forget my nails because I know I'm gonna forget about certain things I have been using you know my friends how I like natural nail polish I do my nails at home I go to a salon to do my pedicure but my nails I really enjoy very much to paint them and during summertime I like to wear white a lot so 
I purchased that Chanel, well actually, is this set Le Vernis. I don't know if they still have it or not. It's a nail look set, which comes with that new Chanel Insomniac um, nail polish in this white, it's a beautiful white shade that it has a little bit of warmth to it. So it's not like a stark white, but it's a really natural warm tone. It lasts, this is the new formula with the new brush. I don't know if to do this or not, but the brush is, I mean, if you're familiar with the brushes from Chanel, they were super slim. Now this one, it's a little bit wider and the formula is not thicker, but it's more opaque, which I love. And the formula is upgraded. It lasts even longer. I also love the gel coat. This set comes with a gel coat and it also comes with these fun things that I need to. I need to use them. <laughs> These are little kind of like nail art tattoos of Chanel logo, camellias, etc. I haven't used it yet, yet but, but I have to. I have to. But anyhow, this new nail polish formulation from Chanel is fantastic. So much so that I bought other shades aside to this nail set. And if you want to see swatches of them, I do have a shorts. And if you're on Instagram or in on TikTok, I also have a reels, a shorts. So anyhow, you can check them out right there. But I don't, I didn't want to miss to mention this nail polish that I had been loving so much. This is my second week with this same nail polish. And as you can see, they are in really good condition. I mean, for being second week, I have just a little bit of chip on this little nail, but that's pretty much it. I mean, like they are staying strong. As far as jewelry, um, again, I, I'm going back to my aquamarine ring from Dean Davidson. This is beautiful, big, super bright, and just calls for summertime. Enjoying so much my new bracelets from Idol. Uh, they are just wonderful. They are made of solid. 14 karat gold in addition to lab grown diamonds and let me tell you I mean you know how much I love my Lucia earrings that I have them on all the time lab grown diamonds don't think that they are not diamonds they are true diamonds they will not lose their value in fact if you see on like say the gray level for either how clear they are lab grown diamonds are the same value as the ones that they are mine the only the main difference is that you're not really you know forcing the earth mine, trying to mine for these diamonds when you can get them from the lab they have the same chemistry they have the same value they shine even more they are so beautiful and they are even more perfect i know that the diamonds that they are found by mining they may have their imperfections, they may be more unique because they are not one as another one, but but what I'm trying to tell you is that the value is there, they don't lose their value, and they are just stunning. Stunning, I mean, my earrings, I love them. So anyhow, absolutely loving these pieces of jewelry. Going back to, oh, this right here, this blouse, actually I bought it from Sara. I will make sure to put it on the description box below. I love the material. It's silk-like, but it's not satin, it's thicker. Um, this is, well, my mom calls it, um, oh, I forgot, it's a French fabric. I just, I just forgot, I just forgot. If I remember, I will put it on the description box below, the name of the material, but it's, thicker and it drapes so beautifully. It comes in black, I think it comes in white and in a kind of like a beige kind of tone. So I'm most likely when you're watching this video, I have already purchased them because it's such a good blouse that you can dress it up, dress it down. It's cool enough for summertime, you know, that it keeps me nice and fresh, but yet I, you know, I don't see anything, you know what I mean? It's very, very well made, which is something that, you know, like, I love Sarah. It's one of the shops that, although, you know, they are a little bit more on that fast fashion, they maintain their quality, and but this one in particular is really nice. And since we're in the fashion, I know I jump from makeup to fashion, but you know, my friends, my love for my Chanel 2022 bag, 
This is just a gorgeous everyday bag, super easy to use. It comes with a little pouch. It's just incredible. I love this size. I think this is, yeah, this is the medium size, the smaller size. It's just perfection. It's, it's super easy, slouchy. I can dress it up, dress it down. It's just perfection. I had been thinking to perhaps get a mini one, but not so sure about it. I'm happy with this one. And also when I wanna stuff it with more things, I like to use this Samorga organizer. I will make sure to put it in the description box below because I also have a discount code with Samorga. This video is not sponsored by Samorga, by nobody. <laughs> but I just wanted to mention that this is a great, great organizer. It even has a zipper and it just fits perfectly inside the bag. I decided to go with this kind of like beige kind of tone because the inner portion of the bag is kind of beige tone and this is how it looks with the organizer so it's just a little bit more rounded you cannot really see the organizer but it just helps to keep to keep your bag clean inside and nice and organized but i had been pulling this bag and i love it i know that there has been many people that have had complaints and because they had found wear and tear on their 22 bags from the chain. Let me tell you that I don't have wear and tear. And I have used this bag all summer, last summer. And then now, I mean, if anything, not peeling, but there's a little bit of like a darkness right here, but not really peeling off the bag. But nothing that i'm just like super concerned that is like oh my gosh this bag is gonna fall apart nothing of that loving this bag i'm trying to look for a caramel color too of this bag i think it's gonna be perfect for winter time and mostly right now perhaps i need to check the boutique because i know that chanel metedia collection just launched and i know they have a kind of brown not really caramel but more of like a lighter brown color so i may check on that one and let's finish with the fashion products with a couple shoes and these beauties right here are from chanel these sandals were from oh i don't remember the collection but i will make sure to put on the description box below because you may be able to find them on the boutique or you know from um, resellers but these are not only so cute they look amazing with jeans skirts dresses but they are so comfortable i'm just so so impressed of how cushy they are they feel like you're walking on a cloud leather is extremely soft and supple I mean, I didn't need to break them down. And from the first time I used them, they were fantastic. And I'm sure I'm gonna be using it all summer long. And I'm even thinking perhaps to get a second pair because I'm just obsessed with these a specific type of shoes. I love the wedge. They are, they just makes you look fantastic. I'm very short and this wedge makes me look taller without looking super chunky. They are just fantastic. And I know they come also in black. And there is a very alike a style right now from the Metedia, but it has a regular style heel and they are all black. So just in case if you have been eyeing something like this. And the second pair of shoes, these are a little bit yep, <laughs> big enough, but these are my Hermes Day sneakers. They are so comfortable. If you're looking for great shoes to travel that they do not look like your common tennis shoes, you know, just white sneakers, that they are not too flashy. I know everybody's right now with these quiet luxury things. I had been telling you from the <laughs> moment that I started my YouTube channel, I don't like to be a billboard. And that's exactly what is quiet luxury. It's just something that is not like super flashy and whatnot. Although I have to say that I'm really sad that, you know, on platforms like TikTok and, you know, younger generations, they are taking a little bit quiet luxury as a way to say, hey, if you know, you know, and, you know, I have more than you because I wear, you know, like things that are quiet, but things that are expensive, like Lola Piana or certain things from Hermes or whatever other brand. But anyhow, um, what I'm trying to say is that they are not flashy. They do have the Kelly lock right here, which is at the most 
if you know people know what is the Kelly Bell, they will not buy. Otherwise, they will be like, oh, they are so cute because they have something different on the top, but they will not really point that out, like, oh, it's Hermes or anything like that. In the sole, you have the Hermes logo, but I mean, like, it's not that you bend it completely that you will see it. And then on the back, it says Hermes. Like, on this side, I'm not trying to don't touch it because I need to give them a good color. <laughs> but they are fantastic. Although I have to tell you that I had to size up. So I have them here in size 38. My regular size on all shoes are 37 and a half. Same thing with Chanel. But if you recall, when I did the unboxing of these sneaker shoes, I bought them actually in 37 and a half. I have them right here. I know it's a second pair. And I asked to exchange them without using them because I didn't use my 37 and a half. I basically just wore them inside the house. As you can tell, I mean, like they are brand, brand new. And they told me they couldn't exchange them for the size that I wanted. It's like, but they are new. Like, sorry, we cannot. And like, really? And if it, it felt so bad about it. I felt like, oh my gosh, really? But I mean, I love the style so much. And I felt like the leather is of great quality. The way that it's made, I said, okay, that's fine. I went ahead and bought, you know, a half size up that's okay that's okay and you know and then there is this other thing that ladies in my family they either have bigger size than mine or very like way smaller than mine like more than a size and a half like 35 36 so I have nobody to give this to so I'm thinking that perhaps I'm gonna end up selling them if you are interested on them, again, they are size 37 and a half, never used, just worn inside the house to see how comfortable they were and then to figure out like, oh no, these, I need a size, a half size larger. But if you are interested on these shoes, they are very hard to find. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm considering to sell them, but it has to be to someone that, first of all, really wants them, um, but they are not playing around with me. It's only serious people, please, because um, I don't have time to mess around and yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, that is the story right there. But as far as how much I love the shoes, I love the shoes. I wear them constantly my size 38. Okay, let's go back now to the makeup. So we left off as foundation. In terms of concealer, I had been using a little bit more of my Tom Ford concealer, the one, the liquid one, but I yet going back no matter what to my Chanel Le Sublimage Corrector U concealer. This is fabulous. I'm almost done actually with this, which I'm surprised. I made a huge dent, although there's still a lot of products. So I'm pretty sure this could very well last me perhaps for another two months, something like that, and then I will need to buy another one. And I have taken these on a trip, like three airplanes, well, a total of six airplanes, <laughs> and nothing can happen, no accidents, perfectly fine. It gives me great coverage under my under eye area. If you know me, you know how dark are my under eye circles, blue in tone, really, really awful. And, and this is just wonderful. This is a color corrector, brightening kind of concealer. Just fantastic. Just fantastic, extraordinary. I don't need to set it. It doesn't crease on under my eye area. I think I think I'm pretty sure it is the most viewed video on my YouTube channel when I did the review of this concealer and full day wear test. Go and watch it because you will see it on different lights, natural light, film with this camera, with another camera, with my cell phone outside, indoors. It's amazing. Okay, friends, moving on right here. Let's go for what I had been using as far as bronzer. I have gone back. This is one thing that I absolutely love is my Chanel cream bronzer. Now it comes also on a travel size in a, <laughs> yet again, reformulation, but it's a little bit better in terms that it doesn't have the coconut oil. It is as good as it was the previous version, as good as this version, which is, well, I have the previous version, I have the version before and then this travel size, but anyhow, it is a fantastic product. I use it in the shade medium 392. It is fantastic. It doesn't disrupt your foundation. It's just wonderful. It doesn't break me out. It just looks, it's just perfection. That 
that's all <laughs> that is what it is so if you want it in a travel size they have it down in a travel size i don't know if that will be now on i know the travel sizes are going to be limited edition but I don't know if perhaps they will change it to the travel size. Hopefully not, because I love this size right here. And actually, in fact, it has one ounce. So you can take this on an airplane without any problems or hesitations. Talking about bronzer, I know this is limited edition. I know this is already sold out. And I hope that it will be coming into retailers and back again to the Hourglass website, because this is a phenomenal face palette is the ambient lighting edit sculpt and set and a specific this one this is the sculpt and set the one with the blush i have it right here it is okay it is good but this this is perfection this you have your different kind of soft focus powders brightening powders you have your beautiful highlighter two type of bronzers it's just fantastic. It will give you the most beautiful ethereal look. So if it comes back in stock, get get your hands on it. I mean, if you have the, I mean, most of these shades are repeated shades. So there's nothing really like, oh, this, these are all new. I do have a full review on this um, specific palette with the blush palette and how I use it all over the face. But I mean, if you want to have everything in one and something so, so good, for traveling to this, they did an exquisite, exquisite job with this palette. Talking about face palettes, Charlotte Tilbury reformulated her Love Gossam palette. She said that she brought it back, but the, it, this is a reformulation. There's nothing that it can change my mind because I have the old formula and I compare it side by side. This is way, way better. So if you were disappointed about the previous formula, which I was not, I was able to work it with the right type of brushes. You're going to love this. This is an excellent, beautiful palette that it will give you that signature Charlotte Tilbury look in no time. It is fantastic, but it's super easy to pick up the different shades and all of the shades, they have beautiful pigmentation. So this is a great palette. We promote from um, Charlotte Tilbury, but it has been reformulated. Now in terms of lashes, wow, May has been the month of blushes and it's still going on right now in June. It is a strong year for blushes, but one that has just captured my heart, it is one of the new shades of Gucci blushes in the shade Intense Plum, and this is the one that I'm wearing today. It has, oh, uh, I mean, Gucci blushes, they do have a gorgeous satin-like finish with a little bit of a blurring effect. They look so natural on the skin. They melt on the skin. In fact, I was um, chatting with Benjamin um, Packin, who is the uh, makeup artist from Claire Depot, and we were talking about makeup in general. The new Claire Depot eyeshadow quads, they are coming so soon. And while we were talking about that, then we engaged in the conversation of like blushes. And he was asking me about different blushes that they just come out in the market and, um, you know, what I have tried and my opinion. And, you know, he asked me a, a couple questions about a couple new blushes and how they compare to this one. And I'm like, you know, this is fantastic. And he agrees, like, he loved these Gucci blushes too. So uh, these are just incredible, incredible, incredible on formulation, super satiny, silky, just gorgeous, but this shade in particular, Intense Plum, it is a summer shade. I mean, if you want a summer kind of blush that gives you that kind of like being kissed by the sun, just a little bit, you know, when you're just at the beginning of summertime and you get this blush on your cheeks that is not a sunburn, but it's, you know, just a beautiful kiss of sun, this is just amazing. I mean, I also did a separate review, swatches, comparisons with the new shades. They have that typical bubblegum pink, true pink, and also the shade soft red, which is more of like a coral tone. But um, 
yeah, they are fantastic, but Intense Blonde is the one that takes my heart. Now, in the topic of blushes too, one that I had been enjoying a lot and that as soon as I tried it, I kind of like, you know, like went back and forth between the Gucci and Dior. Dior <laughs> are the new Rosy Glow blushes. They are new shades. It has been reformulated. But this shade in particular, Cherry, is kind of like this intense plum shade. Very pretty, very like... Um, like I said, like a fruit punch kind of shade that gives you a lot of life and brightness and is youthful and is um what I love this about these blushes too is not like back on the days that you know we used to say like oh clown cheeks clown kind of makeup it's not like that this is very sophisticated now in terms of what I use like um if my look is a little bit more perhaps sophisticated, perhaps a little bit more muted, then I had been going through the rosewood shade, which is very much a pillow top kind of shade, a shade that, you know, is very wearable, very much like a pillow top shade, <laughs> you know, a very feminine shade, but a very easy to use kind of shade, beautiful shade. And then after that, at the beginning of the month of May, I was using a lot the new Hermes blush in the shade Rose Coupre, which it is a beautiful burn kind of terracotta blush. This is another perfect shade for summertime if you have a warmer look, or if you're just using a little bit of bronzer, bronzer, brush on your eyelids you know and that's pretty much it and you want to pop a blush this is so so good this is gorgeous and this has kind of like that satin finish as the gucci one but it's a little bit more cloud like it's a little bit more like blurring and i don't know you just have a certain a specific kind of finish that it just looks very 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 pretty but yeah these are the blushes that I have been using a lot as well as this one from Chanel and this is a cream blush it's in the shade number 20 I think one of the most underrated cream blushes and surprisingly because they are from Chanel but they are these blushes that they come on a stick try them you're gonna love them if you like jersey if you like reflex from Chanel if you like um, kind of like a neutral natural kind of shade but you want in a cream form that is super easy to blend no fast that you can apply directly from the tube on top of your foundation and it will not disrupt your foundation try this one and in specific the shade 20 is the perfect perfect shade for that effortless summer tan kind of look you know that look that looks wet and just like tan and healthy there you have it. That's the shade. Now, talking about tan, and I, I don't want to forget about these, but a sunscreen that it got me surprised from the moment that I tried it, but I had been using it a lot on top of makeup, without makeup, and it's fantastic, and I haven't got any sunburn, and I had been in like really <laughs> scorching hot sun. It is that Chiseido clear sunscreen stick it's completely clear um it has a 50 plus of spf fantastic fantastic and it's magical i cannot believe let me show you look at that i'm using it on top of my makeup and do you see my makeup moving no you can see perhaps just a little bit transfer on the stick but it doesn't move your makeup it's fantastic for any day, every day, easy, on the go, just put it on your bag, you will not be disappointed. And I love these type of sticks too for children because it's not harsh on their skin, it's moisturizing, it's not glowy, it's just perfect. It's just absolutely perfect and it doesn't leave the white cast, you can use it also on your eyelids. It's amazing, it is amazing. So kudos to Shiseido, they did an incredible job. Okay, friends, now going into, okay, a couple other products right here are this Victoria Beckham Beauty Instant Brightening Waterline Pencil. It's the one that I'm using today. I love these type of pencils because they have kind of like a nude shade, and what it does, you just 
opens up your eyes a little bit more. It makes you look more awake. If you're tired uh, or you have a smaller eyes and you want your eyes to look a little bit bigger, use a kind of nude or even whitish kind of tone eyeliner on your waterline and you will see how your eyes will pop in the most beautiful way and this one is an incredible formula because I have a few that they are really good but sometimes they can look a little bit chunky or they just fade away too soon on the waterline this is specifically made for the waterline and it is incredible talking about Victoria Beckham Beauty she also has come out with brow pencils and it is so good and it came right on time because I finished it, the one from Hourglass, I finished it, the one from Charlotte Tilbury and I do have right here, I pull out the one from Gucci which I love but I received this one and this is the one that I had been using a lot. I have it in the shade dark brown. I like the shade, I feel that it's just tiny bit darker for my brows but that is okay I'm planning to get in you know shade lighter but the good thing about it is like even though you apply it and like like I said I feel like it feels when applying and it feels a little bit darker on me when I use the spoolie side it just not fades but it just really it is workable and you can make strokes with the spoolie as well so it looks very natural and it fills your brows beautifully and it lasts all day so it's a really really good product from Victoria Beckham Beauty now in terms of eyeshadows I have been using a lot just my bronzer and then two other eyeshadows one of them it is by Chanel and it's nothing new actually this is from the Levage collection in warm and it's this beauty and it's the one that I'm using today on my eyelids it's just so pretty Super easy, very ethereal, but very sophisticated. Super, an elegance, an effortless elegance. That's what it is, this eyeshadow palette. And it's one that I have been using it for a couple of years right now, since it launched. I love the shades. It has a subtle coral, a subtle peachy note. It has this sparkly shade that is beautiful. It just gives... Is the one that I have right on the center of the eyelid, but yeah, it's just it just give a little bit of that glistening effect without having any glitter, no shimmer, just kind of like a effortless satin finish, extremely sophisticated, beautifully. And then another eyeshadow palette that I have been using a lot. It is by hold on, I just have too many things out here. It is by Tom Four and is Hazy Centrality. This is amazing if you like something a little bit more cool tone with a little bit more pink in it you're gonna love love this shade and not even truly cool tone it has some coolness but it's not completely cool tone it's more neutral <clears throat> excuse me but it's gonna give you a very uh, feminine sophisticated look um yes ethereal not as warm as the warm by chanel it is fantastic the shades are gorgeous Gorgeous. I do have reviews for all of these products. Well, from Warm um, of Chanel, I that launched what two years ago, but this one, Hazy Sensuality, came out last month and a half or something like that. I think during April. It is a fantastic, fantastic eyeshadow quad from Tom Ford. And I'm not going to include it right now on my May favorites because I tried it on the month of June um, but I know a lot of you are gonna ask me about it and I really have to tell you that if you see this baby tropical dusk that's what it is O2 get it if you miss out on metal last this is not exactly as metal last but if you like say aura by Charlotte Tilbury if you like the kind of the vibe of nude deep but you want something that has a little hint of pink in it or taupe get this one um what is another one uh, it just came out from from mine I think it's first frost by um also Tom for get this one this is fantastic I just have to say it because a couple days ago I uploaded my review on the entire collection because finally I got the two eyeshadow quads I did two looks and blah 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 this is just extraordinary 
this is extraordinary and I'm sure it's, I mean, it's already selling out every time that comes out at a website. So if you are able to see it either in person at a boutique or if you find it in any of the links that I will be leaving on the description box below, you will not regret it. You're going to absolutely love it. I just want to give you a little bit of that, you know, like update um, because I know it's one of those eyeshadows that it's going to be it's gonna sell out it's gonna sell out so fast talking about tone 4 and going into highlighter the highlighter that i was able to try before the end of the month of may and i had been using a lot it is again from that soleil the full collection in the shade oasis also o2 and it has more of like a pinky peachy with golden undertone is the one that i'm using today your cheeks will look wet it doesn't emphasize any texture is just more of like a luminizer more than anything stunning stunning the way that it was done the 101 mirage which is a little bit golden it's beautiful i'm looking forward to using that more as i get more tan but the one that i pretty sure i can use it all year round is this one oasis it is fantastic and the formulation is just so beautiful now going into lipstick that lipstick combination that i have today it is by where did it went i'm telling you friends i have a little box right here I'm trying to be organized but there are so many things is this combo by pat mcgrath Oh wow, this is fantastic. The lipstick that I'm using is Nude Venus. Now I'm pretty sure this Nude Venus comes also on the satin formulation. I happen to have the matte formula. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I will prefer to have it in a in the satin formulation actually. But nonetheless, I love the shade and I love the formula from Pat McGrath. This is spectacular, it's more of like a peachy nude tone just beautiful and then line my lips with the shade also nude venus this is the lip pencil from pat mcgrath which is fantastic it stays on your lips really well it's a really beautiful shade again kind of that peachy nude tone and then over top i have the lip gloss again in nude venus and the lip glosses from pat mcgrath they are fantastic they are non-heavy and it's just all this combination give me the perfect peachy tone which is something that i had been vibing a lot lately although i had been loving my pinky tone of this lip balm by hermes in rose confetti if you're familiar with the leather shade from hermes confetti this is the same shade oh my gosh it's just stunning and they have changed the formula because someone in my instagram when i posted a, a reel said oh i have tried the previous ones and i don't like them that much this is a new formula and i'm pretty sure they have reformulated all of them this is way better formulation it's a truly balm that actually has pigment and it enhances your lips in the most beautiful way keeping your lips nourished and just juicy and beautiful like they are supposed to be and these are actually um refillable so if you like this casing you can refill it with any of the lipsticks or lip balms from Hermes fantastic totally fantastic and then from Chanel I had been enjoying so much this lipstick also from the Chanel Le Beige collection in Destination if you like boy from Chanel the, the shape boy of lipstick you're gonna love, love this shade. This one is just a little bit warmer in tone than Boy. And on my review of that Le Beige collection, I went ahead <laughs> and compared it with the shade Boy. I'm laughing right now because I have to laugh because, oh well, it happens. I went to a concert and um, I entered into the ladies' room. I went out immediately and as soon as I noticed that my lipstick was missing out of my pocket, I went inside like right away, not even one minute, like half a minute. And I knew exactly where I left it and somebody took my boy. Someone took my boy lipstick. It's like, hello, why are you gonna want to use somebody else's lipstick? Why you don't leave it right there? It was half a minute later that, you know, the latest room was back full. I asked around if somebody has seen it, obviously whoever took it, I'm pretty sure she was still inside, but 
Okay, I'm able to replace boy, but I'm not able to replace destination because it is a limited edition shade for this LeBeige collection. So I'm so happy I got it. And yeah, I need to order my shade boy. But this is a fantastic shade. If you like that very sultry, nude, kind of leap, kind of like J-Lo vibe, that's destination will give you that in a subtle, warmer tone than, say, boy. Well, boy is a little bit cooler in tone or more than cooler it has more pink in it I think so anyhow absolutely loving it and then for lip gloss I have been gravitating a lot towards this Chanel lip gloss which I love the Chanel lip glosses but this is specific shade it is 166 oh, what's the name of this one I will put it in the description box below I'm sorry I don't remember the name it's here something it's not electric it's something something along those lines but it's this gorgeous coral tone that is just perfection and the lip glosses from Chanel they are fantastic they are just so beautiful they are juicy they are not goopy they are just made perfectly and the actual doe foot applicator is just oh it hugs your lips in the most beautiful way and then for setting a spray, I had been going again towards my Hourglass Veil So Focus Setting Spray. It's not going to give you an amazing longevity as, say, that Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush um, Setting Spray, but it's going to give you this soft focus effect and it's going to give you a beautiful glow to your skin that is fantastic. I will say I rediscovered it again because I had a bottle and I was using it a lot when it launched then i repurchased it and then i didn't use it as much and one day um, my mom was visiting and i i made her makeup and she's she told me oh, i love i don't know what you use but you know i see that you use this thing that makes your um sp you spray your face and your your skin looks so beautiful and it gives this youthful glow you know and look my skin my skin is so dry i'm like mom don't worry so i make all her makeup and then i spray it with this and she was like oh, that's it that's it so I went ahead and bought her one and then I went ahead and started reusing it again because this is so good if you like kind of like the Tatcha one but you want a soft focus effect and not as milky as the Tatcha one and not as you know like perhaps the Tatcha one is more hydrating um, but you want something like that but a beautiful veil on your skin this is it and this is the one that I have used today on my on my face okay my friends and this makes it for my main favorite oh my gosh I couldn't wait to share with you all the products that I had been enjoying so much that it had me that they had made me so so happy during the month of May honestly these products they had brought each of them a big smile new discoveries some all these but goodies that I rediscover again and I'm just so happy to share them with you okay my friends again this makes it for this video I hope that you enjoyed it I will love 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 to hear from you which have been those products that you have enjoyed so much during the month of May or your current favorites let's just continue that conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet I would invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it would be incredible if you can come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, share with family and friends, and if you're not done watching my content, don't you worry, there's a couple other videos right here that I'm sure you're going to love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye!